All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Power Stroke Central video. Today we've got Cameron here. He's part of Relentless Shine. We're doing a little video with his truck and my truck. He actually just put a five inch turbo back, or not turbo back, but the factory on there is the same as mine. So the factory turbo back is the same as mine that I just put on here, four inches to five inches. So we're gonna go ahead and do some sound tests, six, seven versus seven, three. We're gonna see which one sounds better. Well, not really which one sounds better, but which is the difference. difference, difference in sound really. But if you guys are interested in getting paint protection film done for your trucks, then they do great paint protection film, ceramic coating, all sorts of stuff here at Relentless Shine. All their details down in the description, but let's go ahead and hop into this video. Yeah, six, seven versus seven, three. Let's see which one sounds different. All right guys, so this is the 6.7 starting up here. He's got a tip on there as well. That thing's crazy loud. That thing is freaking super loud, guys. So loud. I hope you guys can hear that. All right, guys, so that one was a little bit more of a quiet drive by, but sounds super good. Now we're going to test out the 7.3. Cameron's got to head out here, so we're just going to hop into the 7.3 now, see how that sounds uh, compared to the 6.7 Platy Power Stroke. I may be wrong, but I think the 7.3s ran more compression, at least it sounds like it. You can hear the thump. sure yours is louder it is i think really? so you definitely have more bump yeah i mean i have the tuner this thing's got a ton of turbo noise and you like have wind a crazy noise turbo noise which is but i think this has more like engine bump like hot yeah. rod bump all right guys so on cameron's truck here he has a flow pro system i have an mbrp system um now the difference guys is his is not as loose as mine is so you guys see how tight his is and then you come over to mine you see how loose mine is difference is is his clamps that's what he said the clamps are different they tighten up a different way they like shrink seal onto the pipes if i'm not mistaken the bands will actually stretch and create a seal around the joints so if you want to show yeah that and it's about four inches wide so you get good grip on yeah. both sides of the connection and then they stay pretty solid i've never had these come loose or leak over time these thin clamps that come with the mbrp kit if you want to yeah close on you those, can see they don't draw down tight enough and they don't seal anything around the connection so you end up with i'll show it right there i'll shake it yeah you end up with too much play yeah loose and in my experience you'll always have like one that you can't get tight enough that's exactly what is the actual Everything one else yeah that's tight, but there's one up here that's shaking and that's yeah. to where it rattles going down the street and drives you nuts yeah yeah mine yeah it definitely like squeaks and rattles down the street so what i'm gonna do to fix it guys is i definitely recommend buying what he has instead it's a flow pro system the link where he got it down below but with mine guys uh in order to fix that i'm gonna have to tack weld some stuff and uh i actually did have to cut it back like a foot and four inches because this this one was made for a long bed <laughs> so the flow pro came with two to call it like filler oh sections. extender oh that's nice one yeah for a short bed truck and one for a long bed truck that's also where the muffler would go if you had a muffler uh -huh. and then there's two muffler options short bed and long bed yeah. so it's pretty straight up bolt-on user-friendly and shouldn't be a lot of adjusting or touching up later yeah 
Yeah, that's nice. And I think price-wise, they're probably pretty close. What did you pay for yours? That's a stainless system. Yes, it was mine. The stainless, mm -hmm. aluminized. So the stainless system was $700 without the muffler. And I bought the muffler separate after the fact, and that was 200 bucks. Whoa, golly. So you spent 900? Yeah, Cameron spent about 700 on his system. I only spent about 500 on mine, so there's the kind of key difference there. But I definitely would have spent, I, I would have, yeah, if not have to weld it, I would have definitely spent the extra $200. That's the difference between youth and a little seasoning. <laughs> seasoning, a little yeah, bit of wise, salt and pepper. wise man. I've done this a couple times. Yeah, he's done some MBRP uh, on his channel, actually, on the Rental Shine channel. We did an exhaust system on his last car. So if you guys want to check it out, all the links will be down in the description where you guys can go look at their stuff. But and I'm also going to be filming a video in the future of me actually welding this guy up and fully completing it out. So, all right, guys. So that will conclude this Power Truck Central video. We did a little 6773 comparison video with Cameron's truck. Um, we're actually inside the shop currently of Rental of Shine. So I got a big operation going here. Um, if you guys, once again, want to stop by the shop, everything will be down in the link in the description. We got Ty here. Gotta keep it. Just kidding. Anyways, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, catch y'all guys later. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch other videos, they'll be up here or down there. Subscribe down below and peace out, fellas. Perfect. Perfect.